When you think of home, home is an interesting word because it can mean many different things to different people. One thing most people agree on is that home is a refuge. A refuge is anything that helps you feel safe, protected, sheltered, and comforted. A refuge can be the place where you live, but also could be so much more than that. We're going to look at some works of art now that explore this idea of home and what it can mean. When you think of home.com is a website that sells artwork to raise funds for a nonprofit that provides care for orphans. Their website explains that their creative project encouraged artists around the world to illustrate the idea of home. Each poster captures a feeling, memory, or moment meant to bring us all home. This is one of the works of art from this project. It's created by an artist named Ari Dana from California. Can you imagine what she's thinking about when she thinks of home? This is what she said. Sopita is every kid in my family's most frequent request. We gobble it up, ask for seconds, and feel warmed with comfort. Even more importantly, though, are the people who make it for us. Every woman who has ever made me Sopita de Estrella has been a star in my life and a light that guides me. These women and their food warms us with love, brings us together, and makes us feel like we are home. This image is so very different than the one we just looked at, but both of them represent home for the artists. This was created by Ellen Schofield of Minnesota. Can you imagine what she might be thinking of when she thinks of home? She said, The North Shore of Lake Superior was our favorite place to visit. My illustration combines the tumbled stones of Lake Superior with colorful, joyful patterns to invoke the feeling of our childhood. For Ellen Schofield, Lake Superior is home. I think this one might be easy to guess. This is created by Lara Horner from New York. What do you think comes to her mind when she thinks of home? She said, home to me is baking with my mom. She learned from my grandma and now I am learning from her. Whenever we are baking, there's always a little dog nose sniffing for fallen crumbs. This image by Emily Herr of Virginia is very different than the ones we've looked at already. I wonder what she's thinking about as she thinks of home. This close-up of her illustration says, We store memories in people and places. She says, The landscape around me is saturated with memory. I've spent my whole life here, and everywhere I go, now I wade through time. I still explore the city, seeking future memories, and stumbling on moments I had forgotten. For Emily Herr, remembering those moments is home. You wouldn't guess from looking at it, but Riley Hoonan from New York actually portrayed something very similar to what Emily Herr did. He said, Each icon represents a moment and place from my seven years in New York City, from the Jewish deli down the street to getting hit by a car while cycling. It's a map of a personal experience within the city. Each one of these icons is telling us something about his life and his experiences in the city that he calls home. Erin Bloom from Washington is showing us something very different from the cities that we just thought about in the last two images. Erin said, Surrounded by good mountains, neat plants, and fresh water, some of which comes from the clouds, we are happy to be home. Now I'd like you to spend some time thinking about what comes to mind when you think of home. What helps you feel safe, protected, sheltered, and comforted? Where do you find refuge? Do you think of the place where you live and all of your belongings? Do you think about exploring some place outside? Do you think of favorite foods you like to eat? Or a memory you have with friends? Maybe you think of the people that mean so much in your life. Remember that home can mean something different for each one of us. I encourage you to share your ideas of home with someone near you.